The Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC has received a warning from the Zimbabwean government not to do any acts that could lead to unrest while pretending to be democratic. Aman Mawaira, the Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs, made this point in a speech to African Union ambassadors in Harare. Mawaira implied that CCC leader Nelson Chamisa had acted undemocratically when separating the government from the CCC recalls. He made reference to Chamisa's rejection of the presidential election results from August, when Chamisa said he would only accept a victory in his favor. Such behavior was attacked by Mawaira as an assault on democracy, constitutionalism, and the rule of law. Mawaira stressed that, in response to letters from political bodies regarding recalls, the Speaker of the National Assembly and the President of the Senate must act promptly in accordance with Zimbabwean law. He made it clear that after such communications have been presented, either official can change them or obstruct them. According to Mawaira, only the writers of these communications have the power to start a reversal. Notwithstanding assertions to the contrary from the opposition, Mawaira denied the presence of political prisoners. The opposition has used Job C. Kala, a former lawmaker who has been detained for more than 400 days. As an illustration of a political prisoner, Mawaira, however, denied these charges. Political analyst Joy Anguenya attacked Mawaira's comments against Chamisa and the recalls in an interview with Newsday, calling them unfounded. The Constitution requires free and fair elections, according to Anguenya, who also claimed that observers found flaws in the electoral process. Anguenya also underlined the freedom to hold peaceful protests and questioned the Zimbabwe Election Commission's independence CC. Oh